Has your messaging app ever randomly stopped working? This happened to me once in the middle of a conversation and it was the worst. This can be super frustrating and today I'm going to tell you a couple reasons why it might happen and how you can fix it on your Android device. So go ahead, get your phone ready. So the first thing you wanna make sure is that your network carrier isn't just down. So in order to do that, you are just gonna open up your Google Chrome and search downdetector.com and then find your carrier there. Next thing, make sure your phone is not on airplane mode by accident. For this, go ahead and open up your settings app. Go to network and internet and toggle on the airplane mode. Now restarting your phone can always help. In order to do that, press down the power button and the top volume button. Hold it down together until you see the power off option come up and you can just click restart right there. If these tips haven't worked so far, just go ahead to your carrier network's website and make sure that nothing is down there. Cache data can get corrupted, so every now and then you should be clearing up all that data. Go to the settings app, click apps, find the messages apps under see all apps, tap on storage and cache, hit clear cache. You can also select clear storage for a clean start. Now this might not be your first thought, but your SIM card could be out of place. So remove your case, go ahead and open up the SIM card port, shake your SIM card around a little, make sure it's in its proper spot, close it again, and that just might fix your problem. Sometimes when you download a new app, it messes with other apps on your phone. In order to delete apps off your phone, open up your settings, click apps, see all apps, and then find the app that you want to uninstall and tap on it. Click uninstall and then just confirm by hitting OK. Another thing you could do is reset your network settings. Open up your settings app, select system, go into reset options, hit reset Wi-Fi, mobile, and Bluetooth. Tap on reset settings. There you go. Okay, this is an extreme measure, but it fixes most problems doing a factory reset on your phone, which means deleting all your files, apps, and data. Now this could be very stressful for people, but since you know it would be happening, you will have a chance to back up everything. Open up your settings app, select system, go into reset options, hit erase all data, then just follow the instructions to finish this process. I really hope you don't have to do this. Last but not least, if none of these things work so far, it doesn't hurt to go get professional help. So this means going to your phone's manufacturer or another third party that is an expert with your phone. One of these options has to work for you. Just comment below and let us know which one did.